Good day, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today, in our maths class, we are going to talk about multiples of 4, 8, 50, and 100. For our starter activity, write the missing numbers on the shirts. You have 3 minutes to complete this activity, pause the video, and write your answers. Time is up. Now, let's check your answer. Here are the answers for A, 4, A, 12, 16, 20, 24, and 28. For B, multiples of 8, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, and 56. For letter C, counting by 50s, 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, and 350. For letter D, counting by 100s, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, and 700. Did you get all the correct answers? Well done. If not, then stay tuned and learn from this. Our learning objective is to count in multiples of 4, 8, 50, and 100, and find 100 or, or 10 more or less than the given number. Success criteria. I can count on in multiples of 4, 8, 50, and 100. I can count in multiples of 4, 8, 50, and 100. Find 10 more or less than given numbers. I can count in multiples of 4, 8, 50, and 100. And find 10 or 100 more or less than a given number. And I can solve problems involving multiples of 4, 8, 50, and 100. Counting in fours. So Mariam counts in fours from zero and says the number 27. And Muhammad says 27 is incorrect. Why? Because 27 is odd. And all the multiples of four are even because four is an even number. Give as many different reasons as you can count Muhammad could use to share these with a partner. So 27 is not a multiple of 4 because 27 is odd and it is less than 4 when you are counting it. So after 24 is 28. 27 is less than 4. The multiples of 4 have been covered by lily pads or by our rectangles. Fill the missing numbers shown here on the table. You have 5 minutes to do for this activity. Time starts now. Time is up. For the first table, we got these answers. And for the second one, these are the answers. Are all your answers correct? Good job. Counting in eights. Ruby says that counting in eights can be made easier if she thinks about counting in fours. Think why Ruby might think this and suggest any other ideas to help her. Now counting in eights is like counting every other number when counting in fours. You could just double the number four that will be doubled to 8. Okay, and we double the 8, that makes 16. Double to 16, that's 24. Double 24, that is, okay, that is 48. So you can double each number to count the multiples of 8. Ruby could also count in 8s by adding 10 and subtracting 2. Fill the missing numbers in these sequences that shows multiples or times table of 8. Pause the video for 3 minutes and time starts now. Time is up. Now let's check if your answers are correct. Here are the answers. Great job. Now, counting in 50s. Muhammad says that counting in 50s is just like Counting in fives. Explain what he means.
needs and what else he needs to think about when comparing counting in fives and counting in fifties. So counting in fifties is counting in five tens. So here they are compared. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. In counting by 50s, all you need to do is to add 0 for each number. So 5, 50, 10, 100, 15, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, and 400. So counting in 50s is 10 times more than counting in 5s. You can multiply your number by 10 or simply add zeros to the number. Let's try these. What is the missing or what are the missing numbers on these arrays? Okay. Now let's see if your answers are correct. 0, 50, 100. The next number will be 500, 200. 250, 300, 350, and 400, 450, 500. Continue, we have 550, 600, 650, 700, 750, 800, 850, and 900, 950, and 1000, and 1050. Counting in hundreds is the easiest of all. Marian counts in hundreds, in 100, in 200, 900, 10 hundred. Ruby asks, what is 10 hundred? Think what is 10 hundred. 10 hundred is 1,000. How can you say the numbers that follow 1,000 when counting in hundreds? So we have 1,200 or 1,200, 1,300 or 1,300. 1400 or 1400. Now let's fill the missing numbers counting by hundreds. So, when counting by hundreds, if you see these number for instance, you simply ignore the ones and the tens place since you are just adding hundred. So, concentrate on the hundred digit. So 100 plus 100 is 200. Then copy the tens and the, the ones number. So we have 228. So what comes next? Pause the video and write your answers. Okay, so time is up. We got 228. Next to 2 is 3. So 328. Next to 3 is 4. So 428. Next to 4 is 5, so it's 568. Okay, so let's have 528. Next to that is 628. Then we have 728. We have extra 828. Next after 728. Now, looking at this number, we have 1500 or 1500. Since we are only focusing on the hundreds digits or adding by hundreds, ignore the thousands place. So we have 500 here. 500 plus 100 or less than 100 because it's going to the least. So 500 less than 100 is 400, so it becomes 1400. Next will be 1300, then 1200, then 1100. Let's find out if we are correct. Yes, we are correct. Now, let's have an activity. We have here an astronaut team counting in multiples. Predict the next three number in each of the sequence below. You have three minutes to complete this. Pause the video and do the activity. Time is up. Now, let's reveal the answers. After 88 is 92, 96, and 100. This is counting by fours. Next we got, after 600 is 500, 400, 300. Going to the least in hundreds. For number three, we have counting by fifties. So 850, next will be 900. 
950-1000. For number 4, it is again counting by 4. So, from the biggest to the least. So we have 56 at the end, next will be 48, 40, and 32. So this is counting by 8s actually. And finally we have number 5, counting by 100s from small to the biggest. So the last number was 1000, then next will be 1100, 1200, then 1300. Okay, next we have 10 more or less. So when we are having a number, for instance, like 107, okay, so when we add it by 10, we can count 7 by 10, it becomes 17. Or when we have 107 less than 10, it becomes 97. So you have to count less 10 from a number or you add 10 from that number. So Muhammad says that he can always find 10 more than a number by adding 1 to the 10's place and find 10 less by subtracting 1 from the 10's place. Muhammad ideas will work most of the time but not when he is adding 10 to a number with 9 in the 10's place or subtracting 10 from the number with zero in the tens place. So take a look at this example. So we have here, okay, so this is 46 because we less or we minus it by 10. So 56 less 10 is 46. Or we have here 50 6, but we added 1, that is also another 10, so we have 66. To make it clear, take a look at this activity. So we have 10 here as the middle number. This is the given number. So 10 more than 10 is 20. 10 less than 10 is 0. And if we have 80, 80 more than 10 is 90. And 80 less than 10 is 70. Now, pause the video for 3 minutes and complete the activity. Time is up. Now, let's reveal the answers. Okay, so 30 more than 10 is 40. 30 less than 10 is 20. And so on. Now, let's have 100 more or less. Okay, so when can add 100 to a number, for example, we are having 47 here, plus 100 or 100 more, so simply add 1 at the 100's place, that makes, that makes 147, okay, so if we have 471, just focus on the hundreds place, so this is the units or ones, tens and hundreds place. So focus on the hundreds place, then 400 more is 5, so the answer will be 571. 400 less than 100 is 3, so the answer is 371. Okay, to make that simpler also, take a look at this activity. So we have 160. 160 more than 10, so 2 plus 1 is 1 plus 2, 1 plus 1 becomes 2, and 160 less than 100 is 60. Take a look at this. We have 320, 3 minus 1 is 2, so that makes us 220 here. Then, 320 more than 100 is 420. Alright, so pause the video for 3 minutes again and complete the activity. Time is up, so here are the answers. 
So 780 less than 100 is 680, more than 100 is 880, and so on. I hope you have learned something today. Thank you so much for watching my video. Till next time. Bye everyone.